In this video, we're talking all about flowcharts. We'll explore what a flowchart is, why we use them, flowchart symbols and best practices, and the different kinds of flowcharts that are used for various purposes. If you want to learn how to make a flowchart in SmartDraw, that's a separate video. Be sure to check that one out. So, a flowchart is a visual representation of the sequence of steps and decisions needed to perform a process. Each step in the sequence is noted with a diagram shape. Steps are linked by connecting lines and directional arrows. This allows anyone to view the flowchart and logically follow the process from beginning to end. A flowchart is a powerful business tool. With proper design and construction, it communicates the steps in a process very effectively and efficiently. You'll notice that a flowchart has different shapes or symbols. In this case, there are two symbols. Those with rounded ends represent the start and end points of the process, and rectangles are used to show the interim steps. There are dozens of symbols that can be used in a flowchart. If you're new to flowcharting, it's important to know what they represent before using them. The type of diagram dictates the flowchart symbols that are used. For example, a data flow diagram may contain an input-output symbol or an I.O. symbol, but you wouldn't expect to see it in most process flow diagrams. Here is a more comprehensive library of flowchart symbols. Many of the flowchart symbols shown here are for use in very specific applications, such as a data flow diagram used for computer programming. Unless you have specialized knowledge and your diagram is being developed for a pair group with similar knowledge, it's best to stick with basic flowchart symbols. If more than the most basic flowchart symbols appear in your diagram, it is good practice to include a legend or symbol key. Most flowcharts can be built using only the start, end, and action or process symbols, as well as basic connecting lines and split paths to denote decision points. Sticking with these primary flowchart symbols is the best way to ensure that your diagram will be easy to understand. If you do need to get a little more complicated, it's important to be familiar with the variety of flowchart types. Some commonly used ones include swim lane flowcharts, which diagram a process from start to finish, but also divide these steps into categories, represented as rows or columns, to help distinguish which departments or employees are responsible for each set of actions. Data flow diagrams illustrate how data is processed by a system in terms of inputs and outputs. Its focus is on the flow of information, where data comes from, where it goes, and how it gets stored. Influence diagrams are compact graphical representations of a decision situation, often used with or in place of a decision tree, to help teams analyze choices and decide on the next step. Workflow diagrams depict a series of actions that define a job or how work should be done. A workflow diagram visualizes how tasks will flow between resources, whether they're machines or people, and what conditions allow the sequence to move forward. Process flow diagrams, also known as flow sheets, are used by chemical and process engineers to illustrate general plant processes and the relationships between the equipment. Flowcharts are used in architecture, engineering, business, technology, education, science, medicine, government, among others, to visualize things like project planning, program or system design, process documentation, audits for inefficiencies or malfunctions, mapping of computer algorithms, and documenting workflow. Originally, flowcharts were created by hand using pencil and paper. Today's flowcharts are typically created using diagramming software, and SmartDraw happens to do a really good job with that. Once again, please check out our How to Make a Flowchart video to see how it's done in SmartDraw. That's the world of flowcharts in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.